Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about the perpendicular lines. So what is perpendicular lines? Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect and form a right angle. Take note that the perpendicularity are not limited to lines only. Segments and rays can also form perpendicularity. This is the symbol of perpendicular. So for example, we have this line, and I'm going to name it as line A, and we have another line, which is I'm going to name it as line B. As you can see, line A and line B intersect to each other and form a right angle. So therefore, angle A and angle B perpendicular lines. Another example is this one. As you can see, line SAM intersect by array AE. And as you can see, they form a right angle. So remember, when we say right angle, their, their measure is 90 degrees. Now let's try this. For example, we have this figure. If line AS is perpendicular to line MI, using the figure, answer the following question. So what kind of angle is angle MLA? This one is angle MLA. What can you say of this angle? The answer is right angle. Since line AS and line MI are perpendicular therefore they form a right angle so therefore angle mla is a right angle next question if the measure of angle mlu is 52 degrees find the measure of angle alc so this one is angle mlu so if the measure of this angle is 52 degrees we are going to find the measure of this angle the a l c now let's have the solution so the measure of angle m l s is equal to the measure of uh, angle m l u plus the measure of angle u l s we all know that the measure of angle m l s is equal to 90 degrees and the, the measure of angle m l u is equal to 52 now we are going to find the measure of angle ULS so simplify so it will become 90 minus 52 we we apply here the addition property of equality ha huh? so 90 minus 52 is equal to 38 degrees so therefore the measure of angle ULS is equal to 38 Degrees. And since angle ALC and angle ULS are vertical angles, therefore the measure of angle ALC is equal to 38 degrees. Now it's your turn. Answer the following question. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, parallel lines and skew lines. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!